1380 105.3 The Answer. Welcome back to the movement. It's Ed Martin right here on 1380 105.3 The Answer. I, this is a great guest to have on. Uh, this uh, a few years ago, and I can't really remember. He might remind me. Nick Loeb and I met. He was uh, he was out. He's a movie star. I mean, he's a famous guy. He's uh, I don't know. He's not only he's a, a star, I guess, but he's been in the tabloids, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I met him because he was working on pro-life issues. He was caring about pro-life issues. And I, I saw a month or two ago this uh, movie he's working on called Roe v. Wade. And I thought I'd better have him on. And I, I emailed him. And he's on with us. Nick, welcome to the program. How are you today? Good. Uh, thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. Well, no, listen. Tell, me, tell us about it. I, I, I Tell us about First of all, you're calling in from, are you really in Barcelona? Or is that a small town? Uh, I'm, I'm in I, I'm in Barcelona, and my, um, my voice is a little rough because I've been uh, doing interviews for the last week uh, on this film. So Great. Well, good. Well, you sound good. Sounds like a guy from Barcel- in Barcelona, that rough voice, you know, out having sangria or something. So tell us, Nick, how'd you get to this, how'd you get to this movie? How's a guy that's a movie star, pretty well known in the industry, end up doing a movie on Roe v. Wade? It's not exactly the, the path to having lots of invitations to hang out in Hollywood. So how'd you end up doing Roe v. Wade? <laughs> None at all, and actually, uh, quite the opposite. Uh, and, um, I've been getting threats of, of doing this movie. So, um, you know, I was working on a film about a year and a half ago, um, and the director of the film uh, had read a story that I had written in the New York Times about uh, pro-life issues and saving lives of, of the unborn. And he came up to me in secrecy and he said, Nick, I'm working on this movie. I can't tell anybody in Hollywood about it, but I read about you. Maybe I can tell you about it. I said, go ahead. And he, he said, oh, do you know what Roe v. Wade is? I said, yeah, the whole country has heard of Roe v. Wade. You know, there's never been a theatrical movie on the truth. I said, really? And I couldn't believe it. And, you know, I, I think a lot of people don't know. They all, all they know is it's, it's the case that uh, ended up legalizing abortion. They don't actually know the history of, of how it got there and the lies and manipulations that were told to to pass this uh, to legalize we're, abortion. We're, talk, we're talking with Nick Loeb, who is, um, well, an actor and a producer and, and is now working on a new movie, Roe v. Wade, the movie. But tell me, you just said, I, it reminds me of my dad once said about the, uh, you know, Miss Saigon. He joked, he said, a, a musical about the fall of Saigon, you know, shaking his head like, how crazy can that be? How do you make Roe v. Wade the topic? How do you make that dramatic and entertaining. I mean, how's that going to be, you know what I mean? How's that going to cure sure, I mean, did you, sure, did you ever see the movie JFK? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Oliver Stone movie? Yep. It's, it's, it's in that same thematic uh, genre. So, it is the, it is the story of, um, you know, uh, a group of people who are searching for a woman they can get to challenge the abortion laws in the United States. Uh, and the person who is searching for the, this woman are uh, a couple of characters, one guy named Larry Later, and another woman named Betty Friedan, and they work for Planned Parenthood and, and name Al, and they find this woman, and they convince her to sue the state of Texas. Huh. Uh, telling her that if she sues the state of Texas, uh, she can have an abortion, although she's already several months pregnant, and there was no way that the case would even get time for her to have an, um, an abortion. We're talking with we're talking we're talking with Nick Loeb, and uh, who's working on Roe v. Wade the movie. By the way, Nick, tell me that website because I was looking for it just now. For is it is it Roe v. Wade movie or what? Tell me the uh, the website again. That's exactly it. It's Roe v. Wade movie dot com. Okay, good. Uh, we're doing a crowd funder to to raise funds for the film. We've just attached Sean Voigt and Stephen Baldwin. Cool. Uh, to act and Kevin the- Sorbo. Kevin Sorbo was on the show last week. He's helping too, isn't he? I haven't spoken to Kevin yet. Oh. You know, we'll, we'll try to reach out to Kevin, so uh, maybe he'll connect with me, connect him with yeah. us after the, show, after the show. I'll do it. I'll definitely do it. Cause he was on last week on the program, and he was really cool. So back at Nick Loeb, the movie's Roe v. Wade, Roe v. Wade movie dot com. Uh, but Nick, you were saying it, like JFK. So the search is on for the woman at the center of it. Now is that Norma McCorvey? Is that her name? That's Norma. That's Norma McCorvey, and um, you know Norma just wants. Norma has already had two children. She's a poor, uneducated girl with a tenth grade education. Um, and they sit down with her and they say, you know, 
she said, well, if, I, if you take this case, will I be able to have an abortion? Because I'm not doing this to really change lives. I'm just doing this to have an abortion. They tell her, yes. Uh, if you if you sign it, um, you'll not be able to have an abortion. And uh, she then says, well, I don't even know what an abortion is. What is it like? And her lawyer says to her, oh, don't worry. It's like removing a piece of skin. Oh, jeez. And, and so they completely manipulate her, use her throughout the story, Norma then becomes, I don't know if you know, at the end of her life, she becomes yeah. a leading activist. Yeah, she was, life. yeah, she was pro-life. In fact, she only died a few years ago, as I recall, and she, um, she last was, year. yeah, last year, so that's, uh, now, is the, it, well, you know, it's Hollywood, or it's, uh, you're making movies, what's the twist in this case? Is that the twist, that Norma, you know, kind of switches her understanding? Is that how you turn it, or, or what, you know, what's, what, what, what's the twist in this? Well, I, I think the entire backstory, I mean, there's a lot of twists and turns. One of our main characters in the movie who's, who narrates the movie and actually tells the story of Roe v. Wade is a guy named Dr. Bernard Nathanson, who at the time is the biggest abortionist in history. He's a medical director for NARAL and, and, uh, and helps out Planned Parenthood, and he gives testimony uh, that there are hundreds of thousands of women dying every day in back alleys from abortions, uh, which eventually, at the end of the movie, you, you realize he lies. Right. He admits the truth. Huh. And uh, he comes clean, and he becomes pro-life. Wow. Um, so you have a lot of surprises like that throughout the movie, including uh, two, uh, two of the, uh, the, the court justices had family members working for Planned Parenthood at the time they made the decision. Wow. Well, now that's a good twist. I like that. Uh, we're talking with There's Nick. A, I, I can't get yeah. to all the twists. Yeah, yeah, no, no. We have well, to go see the movie. Yeah, well, that's, that's why we got a movie. Well, again, it's Roe v. Wade movie.com is the website. We'll put it up on social media. Uh, Nick, what's the time? What's the timing? We only got about a minute left. What's the timing of this movie? You get the money. You, you think you're out. John Voight's attached. Uh, Stephen Baldwin. Do you make this movie in the next year? When would we see it? A year? Yeah, two? we're going to be we're going to be shooting it you know, late spring, early summer. Uh, hopefully it'll, it'll come out by the end of the year, early next year. Uh, we already have distribution guaranteed on a thousand screens. Um, oh wow! We'll just be fighting, fighting, fighting the media like we like we are now. Um, you know, like Facebook is blocking us from trying to raise money. So uh, we've got a oh, big uphill battle to go. We got. I got to hear more about that story, but I got to let you go. It's Nick Loeb. The movie is Roe v. Wade Movie. dot com. Nick, I'll email you later with some of those uh, connections and suggestions. And uh, travel safe in Barcelona. Don't don't drink the water or whatever they say over there. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate. All right. Talk to you soon. It's Nick Loeb.